Hey YouTube, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to try and get some work done on this uh, Ranchero here. I'd like to get the pedal assembly and that section of the firewall cut and installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to lift the body off, roll the frame, the chassis, uh, yeah, the the frame and and stuff out out of the way. We're going to set it back on the jack stands and we're going to start marking and figuring out where we're going to cut the existing firewall so we can weld in our little patch and yeah that's what we're <laughs> that's basically what we're trying to do so uh anyway uh let's get started So this is our little uh, firewall section that we've made. Everything is centered off of this hole here. This is where the master cylinder and master brake cylinder and all that kind of stuff passes through here, which indexes here. Now here's the kicker. Uh, this is all getting cut out. So what I have to do is there's a couple of things. One, so where the um, the master clutch cylinder mounts is hard into the inner fender. So we're going to have to cut a section of the inner fender out, which we kind of anticipated that. And then I got to line this up. Ooh, I have to line this up with this hole here, create some way to index it, re-index it, which may be a deal of just putting a, drill a couple of holes through up here in the top or somewhere uh, that I'm not cutting out. And then we cut everything out, make room, plant this in place, tack it and tack it in, and, and then we'll have to build a new uh, we'll have to modify the inner fender and, you know, that kind of stuff. But, yeah, that's, that's our next step. Right, well we're getting closer you can see this is where the master cylinder lines up and you can see that the inner fender is still in the way we're gonna have to cut this way back the other issue is and I don't know if the camera will quite catch it but because we cut this section out it's no longer braced as well so we got a lot of flexing here so I'm gonna have to build a new we're gonna have to reinforce this uh, inner fender and what I'll probably do is run a panel here and tie it down here so it'll kind of come in and we're just going to come back just to this side um, 
it'll make it uh, won't make it any easier to get to this uh, master cylinder but yeah at least <laughs> anyway yeah I gotta cut this out to make gotta cut a little bit more out so we got access for our reservoir and stuff for the hose anyway it's coming right along I've got a I think I'm gonna trim a little bit here because this is not going back as far as it should so I'm gonna trim that trim a little piece here I'm gonna put it back in I gotta change the uh, the wire in my uh, welder is uh, stainless so I gotta put the regular wire back in it and then we're gonna start tacking all this together uh, I'm not too worried about this gap here yet we'll end up just sectioning bits and pieces there and filling it all in with some sort of seam sealer or something like that I'm not, not real worried about that so anyway back at it Uh, I don't know how you, I don't know about the lighting under here, but what you can see is I've gone ahead and bolted all this stuff in, and that'll ensure that as I start welding stuff in place, it's indexed where it needs to go. And that's all I've done. And right now we're going to start kind of, let me show you this. All right, so on the other side here, what I've done is I've kind of folded this over to start matching the original firewall. I'll have to do a cut here and fold this over, and I'll probably go ahead and weld across the top here and we'll start welding parts in but the reason that's just but I wanted all this stuff kind of firmed up so this is actually where it goes and that's where it's gonna have to be and it's nice and rigid so now I can hammer on it and do whatever I need to and and I won't be guessing as to whether or not this is where it fits it fits because that's where it is now so
I guess that's it right there. I still need, I guess I need to, uh, <laughs> I guess I need to pull the screws and weld those holes shut. You run down, you can see where I've hammered it around. It actually looks pretty good. Um, I mean, it's, uh, it, it doesn't look quite like a factory job. Well, got some really interesting welding going on here. Where is it? There it is. But it's welded all the way around now. It's nice and solid. We pat, we welded this. That was a bit of a gap. Not, not a big one, but a little bit. So, um, if I get a chance uh, tomorrow, I'm going to come back out. I don't know when, but whatever, whenever I come back out, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start trying to get this all enclosed and get this uh, inner fender uh, reshaped and then rebuilt so we've got something that comes back to the firewall for bracing so that it's not so, uh, I don't know if you can see that, kind of wibbly wobbly there, floating out there in the in the wind, but uh, there's the important thing right there. Look at that. I don't know if you see it too much backlight, maybe. Anyway, we got pedals and a steering column, and they actually fit. So anyway, that's it for today. I'm uh, I haven't been uh, feeling real real spectacular these, these past couple of weeks. Um, not sure what's going on. I think it's my back is uh, acting up and. It, it's just been giving me fits. So, anyway, we got a little bit more done with the Ranchero. That makes me happy. And I'm going to go ahead and close this up and put everything away. And then tomorrow, I, I'm actually running out of t uh, to a job site tomorrow for a little bit. But uh, that shouldn't take too long. And when I get back, maybe I'll lift this thing back up. And we'll uh, see about getting even further. So... Till next time, bye.